Yo guys, so welcome back to the channel. In this video, we're going to be talking about how to upload your GoPro footage from your GoPro to Instagram without losing any quality. So it doesn't matter as well what model of GoPro you've got, this will work for you. And it also doesn't matter as well whether you've got an Apple or an Android phone. I'm going to walk through how to upload videos from a GoPro to Instagram for both Apple phones and Android phones. So we're gonna jump across to my MacBook and we're gonna walk through how to do this. It'll be like a screen share tutorial. And it's kind of a special video this because this whole next section is taken from the GoPro video course that I put together. So all the details to that will be in the description below. And it's basically a full A to Z course that'll teach you how to shoot better videos on your GoPro for beginners. So that's everything from planning to setting your camera up to actually shooting better footage and then how to edit and put that stuff together. So all the details will be in the description below for that if you wanna go check that out. But we'll jump across to the computer now and we'll show you how to do this. Okay, so in this video, we're gonna answer one of the most common questions and that is basically how to upload videos from your phone to Instagram without the loss of quality. Cause I know that's one of the most common questions people have problem with. So like they struggle with uploading a video to Instagram and then can't understand why it loses quality and doesn't look as good as it did when you first imported it to your phone or computer. So I'm going to do a screen share in this video and I'm going to show you exactly how to get around that so you can have some unreal quality videos on your Instagram feed. And first of all, it all starts by going into the video editing software you're using. We're using Final Cut Pro. This may be a little bit different for iMovie or for Premiere Pro or anything like that, but it should be fairly similar. So we're gonna open up a new project for now. So we're gonna call this Instagram test. And this is the first step. So you wanna make sure that you have a 4K timeline. So a lot of the times it'll come standard with a 1080 timeline. I would always change it to a 4K timeline, even if you don't have 4K videos, even if you shot all your videos on 1080, make sure you keep this at 4K. It'll create a new project. And then we wanna obviously create our video, which you should have already done if you've watched the previous videos. So this will be a bit of an example. So I'm just gonna go and drag a few videos in. We have our project here. This is our little mini 30 second long Instagram video we wanna download and then upload to Instagram. Now, exporting. So we're gonna go over to the top right here and export. I always click master file and then go to settings. And you want to make sure this here video codec is in Final Cut. This is H.6, sorry, H.264. So there's all different sources here. Keep it on that. Keep the format to video and audio. Keep everything else as it should be. And then literally just click next. Rename your video. There we go. And it'll save the video to your hard drive. So there is an option in here. And sometimes on your phone as well, you can upload it straight from a video editing software to social media. I think that's one of the biggest mistakes people make and I've always experienced poor quality when doing this. So I always like to download my video first to my computer's hard drive or my phone's hard drive. In this case, it's going to be the computer's hard drive and then I'm going to transfer it to my phone and then onto Instagram. So I'll just give this a couple of minutes to save. Okay, so our video is now downloaded. We've got this now saved to our computer. Now the next step is getting it from our computers to our phones. I'm going to show you how to do now. So there's a couple of different ways to do this depending on what computer you're using and what phone you're using. So let's say for example, you are transferring footage from a Mac to your iPhone. The real simple way to do this would be just to use AirDrop because you don't lose any quality doing that and it's really fast. This is probably the fastest and easiest way. So if you've got Apple devices, it's the best, I think. So basically, if you've never seen this before, right click on your, double click on your file. Share, airdrop, find your device, send that on through, and then that'll be straight on your camera roll, ready to upload to Instagram. If you're downloading your video footage from a Windows PC to an iPhone, you wanna go on your phone and you wanna download an app called VLC for iPhone. Then once you've downloaded the VLC app on your phone, you wanna open it up, you wanna click network, and you wanna turn on sharing via Wi-Fi. And then underneath that, you'll see it gives you a URL number. 
You then want to go over to your desktop and you want to type that into your URL bar. So, and then it's literally simply a case of dragging your files into where it tells you to drop the files on your desktop and then it'll upload them. There we go. And then if you go back onto your phone, you should see it uploaded to your phone. And then simply download that to your phone. So save the video to your camera roll. Cool. And then from there, you would literally just upload it straight from your camera roll to Instagram as you usually would. If you're transferring videos from a Windows PC to an Android phone, just simply use a USB cable. That's the fastest way to do it without losing quality. And then if you're transferring from a Mac to an Android, I'd probably recommend just using Dropbox or WeTransfer. I wouldn't bother trying to text or email the videos over just because you'll end up reducing the quality and compressing your video, so we don't want to do that. And then once you've done that and you have the videos on your phone, you simply just upload them straight to Instagram and they should be the same quality as they were when you first made your video. So that's pretty much it. Real simple walkthrough of how to stop letting Instagram ruin your videos. And yeah. So hopefully that's cleared everything up in how to take your GoPro footage and get it on Instagram without losing any quality because it absolutely sucks when you have a really cool video put together, you want to share it and then it just comes out like crappy looking on Instagram. I know Instagram does compress things a little bit but you still can get around that to an extent and still post really good looking videos. So hopefully that's cleared things up. And remember there's a link in the description below to the beginner video GoPro course that I've put together. You can just literally click that link and it'll take you through to a page that'll explain exactly what's in the course, what the videos will teach. They're all little like five, 10 minute long videos. They're really easy to watch and then actually put into action. It's a really cool little course. If you're interested in taking your GoPro video game to the next level, make sure you go check that out and we'll see you in the next video.